Space allocation and deallocation is very, very important in a, in a file system. Um, Windows does this by managing what's called a free list, and this is just a list of spots on disk that aren't being used by anything, and so you, uh, when you go and you request some uh, disk space from Windows, uh, open a file that will go out to the free list and find a spot uh, that has some, some free bytes and write to it. We'll spend quite a bit of time talking about the free list because it's very important to understand. Concurrency, again, the file system manages concurrency, so you can, uh, obviously, you can't have uh, two different uh, programs updating the, the uh, uh, same bytes on disk at the same time, or they'll overwrite each other, and, you know, the chaos will result. And so managing that concurrency so that, that people take turns writing and that those kinds of things is, again, managed by the file system. You can have exclusive access or you may have shared access where you're taking turns writing. Security is also managed by the file system. So let's look a little bit about, uh, talk a little bit about space allocation. So this is, I've got a, uh, a 50 allocation unit uh, file s system, file space, file uh, a disk space, I guess, that I'm, that I'm going to try and allocate the space on. So I write a file that takes up 15 of those. So on the right, I've got my, my free list. So again, it starts at 15 and goes, the size of that is 35 allocation units. Let's say they're a megabyte for now. So 35 megabytes. I write another file, then it's also 15. So again, uh, my free space now starts at 30 and it's only 20. I, now I add a, a five megabyte file and now I've got 15 megabytes free at the end. Now let's delete that middle file. So now you can see when I delete the, the file, now I've got two entries on my, my free list. The, the one I had before plus the one from the, the data that I just, uh, the uh, file I just deleted. And as I write more stuff into that, that free space, again, I'm writing, as you see, I took the red file and extended it and it got extended at the end. I wrote a blue file in there and it wrote in two pieces. I wrote a green file. Uh, I guess that's uh, olive green, uh, and again, that wrote in the place, and so I've got two spots on my free list, uh, one very small and one a little bit larger. And if I keep doing that, I add files, delete files, move files around, I pretty soon end up with a big, uh, a lot of entries in my, in my free list. My free list gets to be fairly large, number one, and the spaces get to be fairly small. So now, um, I've got some issues there. One is is that, that when I'm going in and, and finding space, it might take a while to find it because I've got to go through a lot of entries in the free list. The second thing is, is what if I need to allocate um, 8 megabytes? You can see my biggest spot there is, is 6 megabytes, so the only way I'm going to actually get 8 megabytes would be to move some data around on the file system so I can, uh, free, uh, I can have one spot free at 8 megabytes, or I'm going to have to then uh, allocate it in two places. For example, I could uh, start at 42 and do 6, and then I could start again at uh, you know 14 and do two of those three and, and allocate those. So I either have to move that move the file around or I can have to split my allocation into, into smaller pieces. So what does that mean? Uh, first of all, let's talk about file system fragmentation. The first point I want to want to bring up here, since you're all SQL Server people, this is not the same as SQL Server index fragmentation. So this is when you're doing a defrag on your disk. This is the kind of fragmentation it is. So a couple things that this affects. One is finding free space um, gets to be very difficult. So there's a longer list to search. You may need to move data around uh, to make move make room and all those kinds of things. Um, I/O uh, can get to be get get to be uh, a problem because uh, remember uh, the the uh, program running uh, sees a file as being a, a sequence of bytes starting at zero and going up to I don't know 10 million or whatever those n the number of bytes I've got in my file and it writes them in it writes them in sequence. So for example, if I'm going to read uh, a program in off of disk. I'll read, go in and, and ask for, uh, you know, these 10, the 10 million files that make up that program. Now, if 
my disk is badly fragmented, those 10 million bytes won't, probably won't be in a row. The, they may be in, you know, five or six or even 10 or 20 different spots on the disk. And so in order to actually uh, pull those bytes off, I'm going to have to seek all over the disk. And remember we talked about, about the seek latency and rotational latency. That can be very expensive to do that. So um, when your disk becomes fragmented, it slows down. So how do you fix fragmentation? The original way to fix fragmentation was you'd back up your files to a tape or something. You'd format the hard drive and then restore them. And so when you restored them, it would restore the file at a time and everything would be all laid out very nice. And you'd be okay until it got fragmented again. That got to be, number one, uh, you know, took a long time, was a, a major pain in the butt. And secondly is um, you, you really, really couldn't afford to do this on your production system because it might take, uh, you know, hours to, to do this to a fairly good size disk volume. So, uh, what happens now is there's uh, defragmentation utilities, and what these do is, again, just move the data around so that as much as possible, each file is in contiguous space. So uh, you, you can, if you've got a 100 megabyte file, it's 100 megabytes in a row, so that you're not, not you don't have to seek all over the disk to do that. So defragmentation, um, I'm sure you've all done that and, and uh, do that regularly. Um, and the reason that's important is because just through normal operations, your file system becomes fragmented. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, sorry about that. I'm for some reason ended up hanging. Let me, uh, not sure what happened there. Um, paging didn't work. So let's talk about SQL Server files. So, you know, because, uh, you know, SQL Server recognizes that fragmentation is, is a bad thing and all that kind of stuff, the, when uh, you create a file of a particular size in, in SQL Server, it goes and allocates all the space that you told it to allocate when you first create it. 